Hi there, on this Jeep Renegade guy, we're taking a look at what is under your Jeep Renegade. All right, now that we're under the Jeep Renegade here, uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at what's going on. So you've got your rear muffler back here. As you can see, runs the length of the car uh, just to uh, this small resonator uh, just on underneath where the uh, the driver and the passenger seat would be goes up and over uh, the steering rack right there into your flex pipe and then into a gigantic cat which is in between the turbo and your exhaust so the cats basically in the down pipe there uh, now as we go back you can see the drive shaft that's running the length of the vehicle this is a, uh, a four-wheel drive renegade uh, and then back here you'll actually see uh, the rear differential uh, so this diff uh, disconnects back here as well as uh, at the transfer case up front and the reason for that is the drive line the drive shaft in the center uh, actually doesn't spin when everything's turned off uh, as you can see spinning the uh, the rear wheel there and drive shaft doesn't spin uh, same on this side uh, that's for fuel economy and fuel savings uh, so you'll see it's a strut setup uh, in the rear as well as up front so that means uh, that you've got a strut uh, with a spring on it uh, that's different than a spring and a shock a shock is actually separate uh, from the uh, the spring unit uh, small little drive shaft, or excuse me, uh, axle shaft or half shaft here. Uh, then you've got a couple control arms, uh, and then your trailing arm. Uh, trailing goes lengthwise with the car, and that's what kind of controls uh, the angle of the uh, the wheel as it goes up and down. So it is fully independent rear suspension on this car. Uh, being that it's a unibody, you'll see the rear end is connected uh, with four mounts. Uh, this is the subframe, so that's a completely separate unit uh, than the rest of the car. So the front and rears are set up in subframes. You've got your gas tank that goes from passenger or uh, driver on this side all the way to passenger side there. And then as we go forward, uh, not, not too much to see here. Uh, this is just a little guard for your brake lines over here you're going to be running fuel and fuel return line. Uh, on this side, you can see the two separate brake lines. Now the front end, as we said before, is a unibody setup. So it's going to have its separate subframe. You can see that's actually connected in quite a few places. So the front end is a traditional McPherson strut setup. Uh, so you've got control arm that goes to the front hub and then to the strut setup. If you take a look up there, uh, it's the same thing on this side. So the other thing I should have mentioned, four wheel disc brake uh, on this car, you'll see that just like most traditional uh, front wheel drive vehicles, you spin one wheel, the other will actually go in the opposite direction. Reason for that is inside of the transmission here, I'm trying to get a good shot where you can see everything but so inside of the transmission is a open differential uh, and the front two wheels are always engaged in this type of drive line so you can turn on and off the rear suspension or excuse me the rear uh, drive line but the front is always engaged you got a small uh, dog bone link right here for the trans and then uh, you're gonna have two motor mounts one on the drivers and one on the passenger side a uh, little O2 sensor that's post cat, so that's just uh, controlling whether or not the catalytic converter is working. And then up high is going to be your pre cat. Uh, can't really get a look. You know, it's uh, it's tough to see. So just a little crash support. The front end, inside you'll see inside of here. There's actually going to be a intercooler that's for the turbo, uh, and behind that intercooler see if we can get a shot well 
you can see the radiator. So that's going to be your radiator. In front of the radiator is going to be the intercooler for uh, for this car. Um, because of new crash safety, you'll see that up high, that's your traditional um, kind of crash structure. That's the, uh, the frame, let's call it, uh, running out to the front. But you'll see down low, you've got these new bars that are added. Uh, these have actually been added uh, typically for the, uh, the small offset crash test stuff. Uh, that's to help really maintain some structural rigidity when, uh, when a quarter of the car is running into, uh, uh, into whatever. So uh, crankcase down here, this is your oil pan. That's going to be uh, the, uh, the oil drain plug. And as we look around, you can see right up there, that is actually the oil filter. Um, so pretty neat taking a look at the underside of this, uh, this Jeep. Comment below what you think, ask some questions if you have any, um, and it's always fun to show you more about the Jeep Renegade.